Happy Friday, everybody. 2018 Panini Chronicles Baseball 4-Box Random Team Break number 4 coming at you. The last 4 boxes of the case, so the next 4 boxes will be from a fresh case. Big thanks to these folks for getting to the action. One spot gets you two teams, so we'll double you up like Sir Mix-a-Lot. Uh, double up. Uh, uh. Then we'll randomize each list 8 times. 3 and a 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8th and final time. After eight times, we've got Michelle on the pole and David Duffy in the 30 spot. And then eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight times, we've got the Rays on the top and the Red Sox on the bottom. All right, Michelle with the Rays, Kip Kip Hooray with the Yankees, David Duffy with the Indians, Rick T with the Braves, nice, Tom Nichols, Mariners, Brewers for Boombox, Greg with the White Sox, Fidel Cairo, St. Louis Cardinals is one of your last spot mojos, and the Twins are your other last spot mojo. John Goss with the Cubs, J, uh, J Mack with the Rockies, Kip with the Giants, Mark with the Marlins, John with the Tigers, Mark with the Diamondbacks and Dodgers, J Mack with the Nets, Rick T with the Nationals, J Mack with the Blue Jays, Tom Nichols with the Royals, J Mack with the Astros, Tom Nichols with the Phillies, Mark Reds, Greg O's, Fidel Padres, Michelle Pirates, Tom with the Angels, Fidel with the A's, Mark with the Rangers, and David Duffy with the Boston Red Sox, the Bo Sox. Let's sort by team. Let's alphabetize. And feel free to trade, folks. We have not seen a trade yet. I'll give it a few extra moments to trade if you would like. Some nice stuff being popped out of here, ladies and gentlemen. Some good stuff. Actually, while you're trading, why don't I post another Chronicles for you guys? That seems to be moving nicely. Brand new release. Just dropped today. We've got... Uh, Greg saying that the White Sox and Orioles are available for trade. If anybody wants to make him an offer, make him an offer he can't refuse. All right. So while you're think while you're considering trade offers, let me add the next Chronicles break. We'll break number five, six, seven, and eight are from the same case. Let me type that into the description. Only 15 spots. One spot for only $29.99 gets you two teams. That's not too shabby at all. 15 bucks a team. All right, let's save that. So uh, for Chronicles baseball fans, the next four boxer is in the store. Random team. Greg's thinking maybe a White Sox-Cubs trade? Man, the, the Cubs and White Sox never trade. That just doesn't happen. No, they did once. They did the Quintana-Eloy Jimenez trade, and I think that was the first deal that the Chicago teams had made with each other in, like, decades. Or a significant move of prospects. All right, TWC, trade window closed. Let's print. Let's go. All right, Gabe's, Gabe reporting that someone just tried to deliver a pizza to your house, but they got the wrong address. You should have just taken it. You should have, well, you should have looked inside first. You should have been like, oh, let me check. Is that the right pizza? And if it's the toppings you like, then yeah. All right, so there is the final printout. Wait, was was Sammy Sosa a White Sox to the Cubs trade? I do not remember that. When did that happen? Maybe that's why they don't trade it with each other anymore. <laughs>
Is that why they don't trade with each other anymore? They're just like, <laughs> we're not making that mistake again? Rangers to White Sox to Cubs. Yeah, I guess I guess for I, don't know, I guess I didn't really realize that was the progression. <laughs> Gabe, Gabe told him Gabe told the pizza guy that he's like, nah, I gotta go watch Chronicle breaks. And he was like, What? <laughs> Did you really tell him that? That's awesome. Nah, I gotta go watch Jaspi's Hobbyland. You know, it's on TV, so I gotta go. All right, box number one. Austin Hayes to 149 and taking it to the max, Max Scherzer, neon green. That is 10 out of 25 on that Max Scherzer. Nice. Sam's like, hey, Joe, I'm old, remember? I remember these things. Did I just reveal my age? I saw San Sosa play for the White Sox for a couple. He actually played? He was a big leaguer for the White Sox? Why don't uh, I just blanked on that information? All right, so speaking of the Cubs, that's for John Goss and the Cubbies. Uh, all cards technically do not ship in this, but I wouldn't be surprised if the shipping team just says, screw it, we are going to ship all cards. Nice Glaber Torres. It's Glaber Day for Kip Kip Hooray. Glaber Day. Early for Kip. TJ saying all all his nine all of Sammy Sosa's 1990 rookies are white sauce. I don't know why I don't remember that. T technically that's vet base. But there, there aren't very many. Eh? I don't know. Bossman was just like, we're not shipping vet base, Joe. We're not going to do it. I was like, okay. But I'll bet. I'll be, I don't know. You'll find out, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Victor, as far as we're concerned right now, no vet base ships. Triple threat. Right there for John and the Cubs. 122 out of 199. More Otani. That Bellinger is to 99. Nice Reese Hoskins right there. That's only 299. And Shohei Otani. Oh, not an autograph. I thought it was going to be an auto. It's but Shohei Otani Spectra, which I'm sure will do well on a secondary market. You like when the shipping team ships everything? I think most people do. <laughs> All right, there's Juan Soto, and we've got Yario Munoz. I don't, I've never heard of this guy. Who's Yario Munoz? No, not Yario. Yairo Munoz. I'm assuming it's there's a Yos there. KNS. That goes to Fidel Cairo. Maybe that's why I said <laughs> with the Cardinals. Wow, TJ with some old Sammy Sosa trivia here. Sammy Sosa actually hit an inside-the-park home run on opening night for the Drillers back in 1989. Dang. Inside the Parker. Major League debut. I had to look it up. Major League debut, June 16, 1989, with the Rangers wearing number 17. 
his first career home run off of Roger Clemens. And then the Rangers trade Sosa with Wilson Alvarez and Scott Fletcher to the White Sox for Harold Bain. I, I remember Harold Baines and Fred Manrique. And did not did not perform well. And then the White Sox traded in, traded Sosa and Ken Patterson for outfielder George Bell before the 1992 season. Crazy. All right. Crazy, craziness. Miguel Andujar, Austin Hayes, and Shohei Otani. Thought there was going to be another autograph. Triple, triple relic. Shohei Otani for the Unhells. Tom Nichols with all those Otanis. And there's Nicky Delmonico, 22 out of 99 for the White Sox. So Greg on the board with the Southsiders. Out of 199, Ahmed Rosario, Ryan McMahon to 299, and... It's all Chicago. Jersey autograph, Victor Caratini. John with the Cubs. I agree, Bill. This makes me want to do Chronicles Basketball as well. Good call. Chronicles Basketball. If you like Chronicles Baseball, you're going to love Chronicles Basketball, ladies and gentlemen. JaspiesHobbyland.com. Check it out. It's a really good price, too. Shoei Otani out of 199 We discounted that Chronicles basketball too, folks. It's on sale. There's Rhino. Raphael Devers. Cespedes. And the rest. So there's one, two, three. Should be one more thing. There's the one more thing. Max Fried. Cornerstones. Autograph. Very nice. Three color quad relic and on card auto for Rick T and the Braves. There you go, Rick. 76 out of 99. That is strong. There he is again. Out of 25. All right, two boxes to go. All right, do I, am I looking at this right? Do I see 16 orders coming in here? Chronicles, that next Chronicles already sold out. All right, so after this, another four box of Chronicles baseball. From a fresh case. Nice. There you go. Ricky Jones. The Chronic is looking fire. I'm in. Chronicles, that is. I don't know what I don't know what this chronic is that you're talking about. Yeah, it's just Chronicles. Smoking hot. Clint Frazier out of 149. And Josh Donald. It's legal here, so. <laughs> it's fine here. All right, and Alex Gordon to 139, 199 that is, and Victor Robles. 
Reserve materials. Four out of ten. Nice one for Rick T and the Nationals. Oh, look at that. Supreme Hard Court is down to so people do want that break credit tonight, Stephen K. That's that's what that's what people are signaling to me. We definitely want to give away break credit tonight. There's Eric Gonzalez. Prestige. Autograph for David Duffy and the Tribe. Goldschmidt's numbered. Crawford, Victor. And the next autograph is Paul Blackburn Rovers. More Premier League action happening this weekend, folks. Remember the Blackburn Rovers? They won a title in the early 90s. Led by old Liverpool legend Kenny Dalgleish. There you go. There's, there's your soccer bit for the day. Ryan McMahon. Slugger enjoys his work. There you go, Slugger. Four out of ten. For the Rocks, J-Mac with the Rockies. One of the nicest autos, nicest looking autographs in the hobby. Good penmanship, Ryan McMahon. But his mom let him, made sure he didn't text too much when he was a kid. There's Giancarlo Stanton to 99. Got Bryce Harper to 299. And what's his green Glaber Torres? 9 out of 50. We got Altuve to 75. Nice. And that goes to the Strohs. That'll be for J Mac as well. And Tom Nichols racking up all of these Otanis here. They all add up. Last box coming up, and then another four boxes of Chronicles. How are kids gonna sign when they stop teaching cursive? I don't know. I've I've been here. I've been hearing mixed things though, Gabe. Last time we brought this up, I think some school districts still still go with cursive. Some um some public school districts still go with cursive, but there are other public school districts that have said we're not doing cursive. We're not teaching it. They would rather teach. I don't know what they're teaching instead. Maybe maybe HTML. C++, perhaps. Maybe, maybe some binary. Ones and zeros. All right. Last box. Good luck. Ozzy Alvius to 149. And there's Greg Allen. Yeah. John Samuelson saying every school in our district practices their cursive. But I, I've also heard some school districts, they, they don't. Teaching emojis, maybe? Yeah. It's hard. I need an emoji class. I don't know where they all are. Sometimes it takes me, takes me an hour just looking for the right emoji. We're heading back to cave painting, everybody. All of our, all of our emotions... We'll all be in pictures and emojis now. It's like cave painting back in the day. Everything, everything goes back around. Ninety-five out of ninety-nine. Miguel Andujar for the Yankees. Kip Kip Hooray. Patrick Goodwin. I don't know what 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 sex ed has to do with cursive. Nice try though. Out of one thirty-nine. I might just, yeah, out of 139. J.P. Crawford for the Phillies. Tom Nichols. Javier Guetta out of, out of what? Not numbered. For the Padres, though. That'll be going to Fidel Cairo. Andre 
Austin Hayes. And Paul Blackburn again. This time a Phoenix autograph for Fidel Cairo and the A's. Nice. The Phoenix cards do look nice. Should be expecting one more out of here. Another Otani here. And is it Jason Kipnis? 15 out of 15? Yes. Nice neon blue Spectra autograph of Jason Kipnis for David Duffy and the Tribe. Nice low number on that one, too. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Got a cracked ice, Paul Goldschmidt to 149. Got a Mike Trout out of 49, neon green with spirographs in the background. Brian Anderson and Reese Hoskins. And there's your break, ladies and gentlemen. Another solid four box break of Chronicles Baseball in the books. Next one's already sold out, so we'll post another one. Check it out on jazbeeshobbyland.com, and we'll break more of this good stuff with you next time.